Yo, what is cool y'all? We're back and in this tutorial I'm gonna show y'all how you can create this smooth slide transition that separates the subject from the background and gives a really clean look for your music videos. So follow along and let's jump straight into After Effects. First off, before we get into it, I wanna start off by giving a quick shout out to my shop, Lurking Visual Star Store, where you can find all my editing assets and presets for both After Effects and Premiere Pro. So if you're an editor and wanna get access to my personal presets that I've been using for years while creating music videos for huge artists, they're gonna be in the first link in the description, but let's get straight into it. Right here, I have my clip of these two scenes from the Kenny and Wolfface Joey music video, uh, which is shot by Courage Films. So I'm going to cut it where I want the transition to be at, right here. And then I wanna start off by masking out my subject. And I'm going to use the rotor brush tool to mask him out. I hate masking out these fucking dreads. So when you've masked out your subject, you want to make sure to press freeze to make sure that your rotoscoping isn't messing up later on. So when you're done with masking out your subject, you want to go to the effects and presets panel and search up motion tile and put the output width to around five or 600 and make sure to turn on mirror edges. Then you want to create a keyframe for the position and drag it somewhere around the middle of your clip. And then what I'm going to do is zoom out and drag the background while holding shift to make sure that it only moves in the X axis and drag it all the way till you start seeing this black part and then keep like that. And then what I want to do next is press F9 to ease ease my keyframes and then head to the graph editor and right now you can't use the value graph so I'm going to separate the dimensions and then I have to ease ease my keyframes again and then I'm going to make a graph like this and after you've done that you should have something like this I also forgot that you have to add on refine soft matte on your masking and mess with the settings to make it suit your scene like this just to make the edges look a little bit less rough so right now we have something like this and that's good but i also want to get the subject out of the frame so what i'm going to do is press y on my keyboard to move the anchor point up to the corner then i'll go right here and create a scale keyframe and then go to the end of the scene and drag the scale all the way up till i can't see my subject in the frame anymore and then once again I'm going to ease ease my keyframes and then create a graph like this. And I also feel like dragging back my position a little bit to make the transition start a little bit earlier. So I'm going to start it right here. And now I'm going to do this, basically the same thing but for the second clip. So I'm going to start off by masking out my subject. I just finished masking out my subject so I'm going to freeze my rotor brush right now. And now like last time I'm going to add on a refined soft matte to give the edges a more clean look. And then I'm going to head onto the background layer of the clip before and copy my motion tile onto this background layer. So I'm going to zoom out and drag my background layer all the way back here. And stop right there. And then add a keyframe there. Then go all the way back to somewhere around here and I'm going to reset my position now I'm going to separate the dimensions and easy ease the x-axis and create a keyframe just like this to make it go faster in the beginning and then slower towards the end right now you should have something that looks like this what I want to do now is separate my subject from the background layer again and I'm going to do that by dragging my anchor point up to the other corner this time and create a scale keyframe, drag it all the way back here and size up your subject until it isn't in the frame anymore. And now I'm going to ease ease my keyframes and create a graph similar to the last one. Like this. And that's clean. And I actually want to add on some camera lens motion blur to make him look a little bit more blurry when he comes in. Uh, drag this up to like 15. And then make it end when he's away from the camera. 
right here. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the scene before. Start off right here and create a keyframe at zero and turn it up uh, towards the end like that. And don't forget to turn on motion blur for all of your scenes. And right now I have something that looks like this. To spice it up even more, I'm going to add on a adjustment layer and drag it down under these. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag on a preset from my opium preset pack. And I'm going to use this one because it's one of the cleaner ones. And I think this will fit the scene perfectly. So after just dragging on this preset, I have something that looks like this. It is honestly such a time saver for any editor out there who just want to save some time while working on their client work to just be able to drag on presets like this and not have to sit and think about what fits into your scene and everything like that just go ahead and drag on one of these so if you're interested you can head to my shop lurkingvisuals.store i'll have it linked in the description but thank you all so much for watching and thank you all for 1k subscribers i appreciate you so much and i'll see you all in the next one